Hi, my lovely friends. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a lovely mocheni. This is a lovely Romanian food. So I'm going to say bona ziwa to my lovely Romanian friends. So I'm going to get started straight away. I already made that some time ago. Uh, I made a fresh pasta dough and I rolled out you know, and to make the uh, number eight. So you can check how I made that. Check out the description section. you find how I made that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop that straight away into this lovely boiling water. I have the boiling water. So I'm going to pop 200 grams of mucheni. And of course, I have walnut. I already grated that. And of course, lemon zest. I'm going to, I'm going to pop that straight into the lovely mucheni. And of course, I'm going to be using cinnamon. So you can check out the recipe in the description section. So I'm going to get started straight away to make our lovely mucheni. So I have my boiling water. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that straight away into the boiling water. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll leave that to boil away. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. So I'm going to show you the mucheni. As the mochen is boiling, you can see that. So we leave that to boil away. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grate my lovely lemon zest straight into this lovely mochen. So uh, you can see that. We leave that to boil away. So welcome to my live stream. So I have some grated walnut, and of course I have ground cinnamon, and of course I have lemon zest. So I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna grate my lemon zest straight into this lovely grated um, walnut. It's nice and easy to make my friends lovely. Amazing recipe. Lovely. So that's the grated uh, lemon zest. So I'm gonna pop that straight away. Lovely. So we are just joining this live stream. My name is Francis. Bonaziwa, my friends. So I have two lemon zest. Uh, I got some lemon zest good there from two lemons. Lovely. So I'm going to put that away. I don't need that anymore, my friends. So that's the uh, grated lemon zest and of course grated walnut. So 
two lemons grated and of course 200 grams of walnut so what i'm going to do now i'm going to pop in one tablespoon of ground cinnamon so the way you can use cinnamon sticks that's all right So I got my cinnamon right in here. So that's cinnamon, lemon zest, and of course, walnut. So you can see it's almost boiling. Almost ready. You can see we don't want that to stick. So my friends, I'm going to pop in a little bit of sugar as well. So my friends, if this is your first time watching my lovely channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button, of course, turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. My name is Francis. So I said today I'm making a lovely uh, Romanian food called Mucenic. So right here I have um, 200 grams of grated walnut and of course I have lemon zest from two lemons so you can check that out lovely so i already grated that straight into this lovely bowl and of course my friends i'm going to pop a little bit of sugar you know right into this bowl or i'm going to pop that straight into the mochenich so uh, the sugar is going to go straight into the mochenich so now i have lemon grated and of course i have walnut and uh, ground cinnamon so my friends i bought the uh, mochenic 200 grams of mochenic so my friends you can make yours you can make your fresh dough i you can check out the special section you find out how i made this fresh dough and the video is right there you can watch it from start to finish so I made it do and I wrote it out. You can use, you can make, you can buy that to make your figure, your figure eight. You can cut that out. You can use that. You know, that's number eight. You can buy that too. And just, you know, you know, cut the dough out and use that to make your mochenich. But if you don't have this tool, you can roll out the dough and you roll that out then you can make your number eight so you can watch the video how i made that check out my video i have lots of mochenic video you can check that out how to make it from start to finish using the fresh pasta dough uh, but right here i bought the uh, mochenic so um, it's nice and easy to make remember you enjoy your mochenic when it's cold you don't eat it hot and of course mochenic kunuka is what I'm making because I added walnuts so uh, I'm gonna get started straight away to pop my lovely um, breaded walnut and of course the lemon zest and uh, lovely cinnamon right into this lovely mochenich so uh, the trick about the mochenich you know it's made from flour so when it's you know you see it floating on the, in the water that you know it's ready so I can see it floating now so I'm gonna pop my baby in a chair
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pop in sugar. So you can see it's nice and soft and it's floating already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in the sugar straight away. I'm going to pop in about four tablespoons of sugar. And of course, I'm going to give that a quick stir. Remember, you're using two liters of water to 200 grams of mucinic. So these are mucinic. Lovely. So I got some sugar right in there. Look at that. Amazing, lovely. And of course, I'm going to pop in the mixture you know, together, I have um, right here. I have, I have my lovely um, brother walnut, and of course, that's the walnut grated. You can use a blender. Use the blender to blend the walnut, you know, and of course, uh, I pop in the grated lemon zest right in here and of course cinnamon so what i'm gonna do now our um, mucinich is nice and soft so remember i told you my friends is uh number eight you can see it's nice and soft already nice and soft Look at that. That's it. So now it's ready. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in walnut right in there. That's the walnut. I'll leave that for garnishing at the end. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Lovely. It only takes eight minutes to cook your mucinich. It doesn't take longer time. Only eight minutes, my friend. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. Look at that. Amazing recipe. So, uh, so our mucinich is ready. So I'm gonna call my all off. Show the way. So, Bunaziwa to my lovely Romanian friends. I know Muchenich is eating around the, uh, I think around May. But you can eat it anytime. That's for the celebration time. So that's cooking. So as I said before, it's a simple recipe. If you check the description section below, you find how I made a fresh pasta dough for Muchenich. It's nice and easy to make, my friends. So after making that, you roll out the dough and you use uh, that. You can see that. You can buy that. When you roll out the dough. You just you know, cut out the dough and you sprinkle that with flour on the tray and you bring your water to the boil. You need just eight minutes to cook your mucinich. So you pour the water in the pot or your saucepan, bring that to boil. And once that is brought to boil, what you need to do next is um, pop your mucinich. You can make, you can use a fresh one or you can buy from the store you know that's the dried one you can use that so i'm using that it's nice and quick that's the one i bought from the store so that's mucinich it's always traditional it's number eight so that's the figure eight and of course my friends what i did 
after popping my mochenich into the boiling water, you see the mochenich floating, and once it's floating, you know it's ready. So our mochenich is ready, so you need to enjoy that when it's cold. So um, I'm going to show you how it came out. And of course, I'm going to play that straight away in a bowl. You enjoy your mochenich in a bowl. You eat that in a bowl. Like your soup. You can see, show you. So I'm going to pop that in the bowl. Look at that, amazing, lovely. So I'm going to pop that in the bowl, but I'll allow that to cool down. So when it cools, I'm going to pop that in the bowl. Amazing recipe. All right, my friends, so now I have my mochenich ready. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that in the bowl, ready to serve. It's nice and hot, but we need to eat it when it's cold. So like I said, when you pop your lovely uh, mochenich into your boiling water, it's gonna float when it's cooked. And of course, when it's cooked, you pop in a little bit of sugar, about four tablespoons of sugar. Mix everything together, and of course, you're going to pop in your grilled walnut, grilled lemon zest, and of course, brown cinnamon. Mix everything together, move that from the heat in two minutes, it's ready, and of course, allow that to cool down. And of course, I have a little bit of grilled lemon zest mixed together with um, grilled walnut and cinnamon, so I'm going to finish that you know, on the plate, it's going to be used for garnishing. So remember, you can buy that too, you can make it fresh pasta dough, or you can make it number eight without the two. So you can check out the description section below, and you'll find how I made mochenich from start to finish using the fresh pasta dough. So my name is Francis, and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube making it real on youtube so uh this is my lovely live stream you can check out my other live stream check out my playlist you find out how i made uh much energy and of course lots of videos from all over the world so you check that out check out my playlist check out my bread playlist you can check out my uh, super video playlist uh, lots of playlists so Check them out, biscuit playlists, egg recipes, uh, how to make fresh pasta dough, cakes, you know. So lots of videos, cocktail drinks, weight loss drinks. If you got the playlist, check them out down below. Visit my channel, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much. I make videos every two days. Also check out my short videos, they are lovely videos, both cooking and of course tourism and all that. You can check them out on my short video. They are lovely, the YouTube short. Keep watching every day my friends. So now I'm going to plate my lovely mochemi straight into this lovely bowl. So I have that for garnishing. So I'm going to serve very quickly. But remember, you need to make yours nice and cool before serving it. But because it's a live stream, I'm going to be plating it straight away, so I'm going to end the live stream straight away. So my friends, I'm going to plate that straight away. <laughs> Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop that, I'm going to use that for garnishing so I have my lovely mochenich ready. That, that's going to be for garnishing, lovely.
So that's the image you can see it's becoming cold. So I'm gonna pop that straight away. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. So you can see our mochini is still hot, but we want it nice and cool. Look at that! Look at that amazing recipe, lovely. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you how it came out. Look at that! You can see it's nice and watery. You don't want it too thick, just like a soup. You want it nice and watery. So you can drink it like a soup but you don't want to eat it when it's hot you want to eat it nice and cold so look at that so i'm gonna do i have some grated walnut and of course lemon zest i'm gonna sprinkle that on top for garnishing so if you check my thumbnail you see exactly what is on the thumbnail that's where you can find it look at that amazing lovely so my friends remember to share like and subscribe thank you very much so i'm gonna do i'm gonna try this lovely mochenich though the mochenich is still hot but you want to enjoy it when it's nice and cold so uh that straight away is uh, is uh, nice and hot but I want it nice and cold so I'm gonna do I'm gonna try that straight away look at that that's the number eight lovely this is a lovely meal it's very nice absolutely gorgeous So I'm going to try that again. I love Romanian food. My wife is Romanian and I've been cooking Romanian food. You can also check out my Kozenak video. Kozenak is a Christmas bread or Easter bread. So I made that, you can check that out. You can also check my Clarity Tape video. So let's check the um, playlist, you find my Romanian food. Clarity Tape, Kozonak, Mujenic, you know, etc. My life, lots of food. Check them out. I made them. It's simple and easy, you know, when you watch it nice and easy well explained well, well explained is explanatory so my friends that's the mucenich is nice and cold now i believe so you don't want to blast you that just leave it out there I love Mucheni fish walnut. Of course, walnut is very good. Look at that. Amazing, lovely. Love the recipe. So, my friends, I'll see you next time. Found out interesting live stream. As I said before, I make pieces all over the world, so you can check them out on my playlist and of course on my videos. So remember to hit the subscribe button of course, turn on the bell, so you don't miss any upload. My name is Francis, 
and this is cooked with Chef Francis live on YouTube and of course making it real on YouTube. So I'll see you next time for an interesting live stream. Keep watching the video and of course try to make this lovely Mujanich. And of course remember when you make it try to share the video so others can make as well. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye bye. Lovely.